Factory Talk View tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to show you how to create a runtime file and download it to a panel view. We'll also show you how to upload runtime files from panel views and how to back your application up. So the first thing you want to do is select the open up the application in which you're going to create a runtime file for. This one's from a previous video called Factory Talk View Security. I don't know if anybody remembers but if we open up the displays it shows you a main where we added security and based on which operators logged in it would display these two go to screen buttons that's basically what it was so we're gonna create a runtime application for it so we're gonna go to create runtime application it will save it into its default directory which would be a runtime file and then we're gonna select what panel view firmware you have so in order to to save a panel view project so that it'll work correctly we need to find out on the panel view by going into your terminal settings and going to about the ME station and find out which version you have the one that we're going to download to is running 510 now the problem with making this in factory talk view 7.0 and then downloading it to the panel view if you do not have a backup file of this you will not be able to convert it back over so we're going to go ahead and do this to show you how to do it we're going to show you how to upload it and we're going to show you how to save or how to create a backup of your file so now that we've selected that we're running 510 we're going to go ahead and select save yes we will replace what's up here that's just because I already had one if you don't want to rewrite over something else change the name Now that the runtime file has been created, we're going to go ahead and transfer it to the panel view. So we'll have to use the ME transfer, which is here at the transfer utility. I know that the panel view that we chose is uh, 163. And we'll go find the file that we saved. Wait, that's the internal. Excuse me. We have to select up here, there's three tabs one download, upload, and compare. We want to download. Make sure we select the correct version we want to download. Make sure that we highlight the panel view we want to send it to. Run application at startup and replace communications. We're going to go ahead and select download, which should download it right to the panel view. There's one there. We're going to override it. And now the panel view is booting. What we're going to do at this point is that we're going to wait for the panel view to boot up. And then we'll do an upload and retrieve that file to show you how to do that one. Okay, now that the panel view has booted back up, we want to retrieve that same file. So we're going to go to Upload, which is the middle tab. We want to select Internal Storage. And then we're going to search that panel view and see what's on it. Up pop. Uh, the internal storage and what files are on it. We're going to select this MER. We're going to place it on the desktop. You can put it anywhere else you want, but I just have it selected for the desktop. We're going to go ahead and upload. I already have one there. I'm just going to override it. And that's it. So we can close this, minimize this, and you'll find right here that you have your MER file. And the next thing that we're going to show you how to do is create a backup file of your project. First thing you're going to have to do though is you're going to have to close your application or the application that you're going to back up. If you have a different if you have a different application open, it doesn't matter, but if you're going to back up the application you have open, you must close it. We'll go to tools, application manager. Then we want to back up an application, we're going to select next. We're going to select the one we want to back up. We'll select next. And we, we're going to go ahead and put it on the desktop again. You can encrypt your files. You can use a passphrase. We'll just leave a check mark. I, I won't put a passphrase in. We'll collect fin or select finish. We'll go through the process. It should be backed up now. And this is just what your backup file looks like. 
Now we're going to show you how to use this backup file to bring bring it bring a, an application back in. So we're just going to double click it. We're going to restore this. Select next. We didn't use a passphrase. We're going to make since we already have factory talk view security already in our project, we're going to make another one. I'm going to select it as 2. Create and make sure you select Restore Factory Talk View Machine Edition Application and then select Finish. It's, now that it's finished, we can go back into our Factory Talk View we can open up and we can select factory talk view security number two and we can open it now if you come over and you open up your display you'll see that everything is the same as it was when you backed it up you go down to your communication file you'll open it up you'll see that it's here and we'll go to the security file and you'll see that these users are here now if you don't have your security users already in the users then it won't show up correctly you just delete those make a couple new guys stick them in there set them up the same way and you'll be fine alright I'm gonna show you the second part of restoring an application but we're gonna use the MER file to restore it so basically you'll go to your tools application manager restore runtime application now we need to go out and select it we're going to use the 610 version we'll select OK there was no passphrase select next we're going to give this the one as number 3 select finish Now we can go ahead and uh, go and open that up. Yes, we'll close this application. We'll find number three. We'll open it up. Now here it says that it was created in 6.10 and we're using 7.0. This is fine. We're going to go ahead and select yes. Even though it was created in 7.0, we saved the file as 6.10 so it was created as a 610 file if that makes any sense so the communication is there security is still there everything seems to be good and that's the way that you just set it up from an MER file not all MER files created can be uh, converted back over to an application project uh, I believe anything at 510 and and below while you're in 7.0 you can't do it but from 7.0 you can go to 610 that's why that file was named 610 that's all there is to it uh, if you have any questions please uh, leave them in the comments I'll do my best that I can to help you guys out again thank you for watching